everybody, again, Anastasia here, or Anastasia, people call me Anna, I'm sorry, excuse me, I'm just pumping a coffee, um, yeah, um, now, just a bit about myself, and how I discover myself, so, I still use my dead name, I mean, at the end of the day, I like to think I'm a rose, and, you know, yeah, um, a rose by any other other name just not as sweet. <laughs> That's what I like to think I am. You know, whether you call me Anna, Anastasia, or my by my birth name, it doesn't really change who I am, and I'm very comfortable with it. Of course, like there's so many trans people who associate the birth name with trauma and pain, and I'm not excluded from it. But at the same time, I'm just me. However, you call me. Um, whether it's degrading, whether it's flattering, at the end of the day, you cannot change who I am. Um, yeah, and um, so I'm Vietnamese. I came to, I'm based in Melbourne now. I live here now um, in Australia. Um, I came to Australia when I was 16 and a half. Well, no, 15 and a half, turning 16. So there's quite a journey, um, been quite a roller coaster. I always knew something was different about me, but I wasn't sure why and what it was. Because in my country back then, even till now I think, being trans is still a taboo. Like there's a boom, mean a surface acceptance when it comes to trans people in Southeast Asia. But a lot of the time, people still don't understand what trans is, what being tra transgender mean. And all they think would be just like, you know, beauty pageant girl, trying to get attention, trying to get like a rich man to marry them. I mean, I would like that, really. But yeah, I'll, it's more than just that, you know, being transgender is really breaking the norm that is that has been established by the very system that took over the world by force, by brutal force, 2000 years ago. And that's really it. Being transgender being, means being a warrior of nature, really. Um, and to defy <laughs> the toxic masculinity and the toxic stream of abuse and um, asserting power to us. Um, yeah, I came here. I, speak, I spoke no English back then because I was speaking French and Vietnamese. Um, at the time, and so I came here, speaking really, really no English, and um, I had a hard time. Um, and then, after a few years, you know, struggling with adapting life in Australia, I, you know, I moved that, you know, of where, you know, of my family, my relatives, when I was 18. Yeah, right when I was 18. And I went to university and supported myself since then. I came out as gay. At first, I thought I was gay. So I came out uh, as gay. Um, not officially to anybody. I was outed without my consent. Um, around the age of 19 or 20. Um, and things just spiraled out of, you know. Um, yeah, of the world, really, um, for me. I hit my rock bottom so many times, so many times, and um, I finally realized I'm a trans person or a person of trans experience only at the age of 20 something. So I got the name Anastasia or Anastasia by <laughs> accident through poverty and through campiness. Um, my first night out as a girl, and I didn't plan to come to go out because I didn't have any money <laughs> and um, um, it was expensive for me right and um, and really I, I didn't know where I was going with my life I, I, I graduated um, from university with a science degree which really got me nowhere um, and that's something we need to work on you know with our society um, and um, yeah, and one, and then my friends told me, well, this place, they let you in for free if you dress up 
and there would be a lot of men who would like to shower you with drinks and just to get with you. And I thought, well, it wouldn't hurt having free drinks here and then. And it was free when not. And then, you know, and oh my goodness, I really enjoyed it. I, for the first time in so long, because before that I had done drag, I didn't feel like it, I didn't feel myself. But then for the first time, when my friends put me in, in a proper dress, in a proper wig, everything made sense. Like, I, I, I graduated from a degree um, that I worked so hard to pay for um, and to get to, to actually complete and finish it. And yet I felt nothing. But then the moment, you know, I put my wig on over my hairnet and have lashes and dress up and I guess it was cross-dressing at the time. I felt whole and complete but I was still scared because you know there was so much taboo um, and stigma around a trans identity, a, a transgender identity and I was scared. I didn't know what it was really 10 years ago. No, even six years ago there wasn't much um, resources around it and the whole scene was just really just you know some myth <laughs> like the amazonian um you know and that's it and then um and i and um, i made the excuse to um to to dress up um every time now every I mean, at that time every weekend at first it was just ah oh, free trains and free entry and you know sometime the men help you to scratch your itches <laughs> and um yeah but then eventually it, it became more comfortable and i liked that a lot more um and i started to and then it went into a day thing a daily thing and yeah and um uh, it took me quite a painful experience to realize that i'm a trans person even though all of the sign was there since, since i was little like um i always like to talk to myself as a girl at a very young age um yeah but, but then nobody picked up the clue and the cue right so that's one per that's one downside of being in southeast asia we have such a rich history yet colonization really erased a lot of the cultural values we hold so yeah, and um, a bit too much of my light in my in the corner, but yeah, and um, that's it. Um, Anastasia, yes, let, let's, let's get to the name. Everybody say it's a beautiful name. <laughs> I promise you it wasn't. Um, because um, when I first dressed up, I met a drag queen who was hosting this campy club in Melbourne um, and the place is called so the venue itself is called Chasers but then the the event is called Pufto right <laughs> and um, so she saw me and she thought I looked fabulous and she asked me for my name and I said well I told her my birth name and she said no 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 like, this version of you you look like a bit like Naomi Campbell and Lucy Liu having a child together and I thought, oh, well, that is quite a compliment. But then, like, the whole Lucy Liu thing, like, just because I'm Asian doesn't mean I look like her. <laughs> and, and, um, it's true, though. And then, um, she gave me a name. It was Anus to Asia. <laughs> and I thought, that's very smart. And you can't really get offended by drag queens. I think that's the whole point. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole point of being a drag queen, you know, offend people without getting me, without them, you know, feeling offended. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. And, um, and then at first I used that name, but then of course it grew fonder to me and for some reason it just clicked and I, I chose it as my name now. So it, like if you, if you say Anastasia speaking like fast enough, it's Anastasia or Anastasia, right? So <laughs> So I, so I chose it, and um, funnily enough, few, like you know, and that year stuck with me, 
And after like a year having used that name, I just found out that it meant um, um, the princess who came back in Russia, or you know, it related it, uh, Anastasia is just like Anastasia the princess, Anastasia Romanov, um, and then there's Anastasia Steele from Fifty Shades of Grey, and I thought, you know what, it's quite apt. Let's do it, and that's it. And it stuck with me, and and then you know, it, it also means resurrection, and and you know, after having learned the meaning of the name. Um, in many different origin, even the creek has it. I realized it is meant to be, and so that's it. So that's where you got the uh, the name Anastasia from. From <laughs> poof though, I blaze literally the the time I had my name. Two guys were doing it in the in the cubicle next door or something. <laughs> it was just it was just crazy. Uh, a night to remember. So yeah, I just sprung into life. From a dutchy shady chemical um, of a nightclub. So that's it. <laughs> Alright, um, that's it for now. I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye bye.